So that was 10 years ago, uh, and, and here we are. Now, listening to efforts to disregard a variety of circumstances, uh, among them just like yours. I mean, is this nation, in your view, going backwards? No question. Uh, Frederica, I am deeply troubled by the politicization of the Supreme Court to the level that they would allow the Texas law to be retained and know full well that it was unconstitutional and that it was basically giving license to bounty hunters, to vigilantes uh, around the country to sue in Texas. Now, what we have in California now, not only are we going to a sanctuary for women to be able to pursue a the freedom to make a decision about whether or not to have a child is something that is personal and is one that should be made in conjunction with your your family and your physician. Um, so we will be a sanctuary in California. But the governor has gone even further and said, if you're going to allow this Supreme Court, we're going to pass a law in California that's going to allow people to file lawsuits against anyone who distributes or manufactures assault weapons and brings them into California. So you can see how this is a very slippery slope. And the Supreme Court has done a great injustice to the oh. American people and to the Constitution by taking oh. the, making the decision that it has yeah. made in that particular case in Texas. So what is your message to women so if you were to put that uh, toilet seat on it, then it would make the floating toilet seat. Across the country, but particularly in their states. Hmm. Uh, my message to women is that we are it's like there the back for part you. Of it. Um, yeah. We will have your backs that if you are wow. um, you're the victim of uh, any kind of rape or incest, or if you have become pregnant and it was unintended, uh, that you will have the ability to come to California and we will take care of you, we will provide for you, um, and you will not have the financial implications of having to make that trip. Uh, this is really... It, 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 it goes to the core values that we have as Americans. Uh, church and state is separate. And we have a law that's been on the books for over 50 years that says this is a right of privacy. This is a right of individual privacy. And for the courts now to say uh, we can get into your uterus um, is totally unacceptable. And of course, there's no discussion about the impregnated and what their responsibility is and all of that. So I have no. ideas on what I'm going to do uh, next year in terms of introducing legislation to create, create some responsibility for those who impregnate women yes. who are forced to have Fuck yeah. a child. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, 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 I can ask, ask you too to be um, um, introspective on your political line you know, as you about, announce that you will not be seeking uh, re-election. I was telling them that women should be able to have an abortion. This is worth my rights to... Uh, long what, time. That's my kid. Uh, in the what about State my right to uh, uh, survivor of gunshot to that, you know, to that uh, kid? To my my, my right to have anything to say about whether that kid lives or dies. And, and then becoming a member and of right. Congress in 2008. Your rights stopped. Uh, you have been in the trenches. You have been in the front to put a condom on. So much of leadership of lawmaking. You're done. And and so now I'm wondering mm -hmm. why do you feel like this is the time with so much rancor and divisiveness? that you feel that your wealth of experience you would no longer be an asset and that you would no longer you know, pursue um, a seat in Congress. Well, Frederica, I, I have been in public life for 39 years now. And, you know, it was a decision I made in conjunction with my husband, who basically sat me down and said, you know, I have been a, a weekend wife for 20 years and he wants more time. and we're at a point in our lives where he is retired and uh, we want to smell some of the roses. It doesn't mean I won't be involved. It doesn't mean uh, I'm going to allow my voice not to be heard. Um, I feel passionately about these issues and I intend to continue to be engaged in the public square. But just 
differently than I have in the past. Yeah, and and, and what are some of the, the ways in which you'll be able to do that, uh, particularly if there is continued frustration um, that you have to program on gun laws or in the protection of women's rights, uh, including that of abortion, how is this translating into something else? But well, still maintain our So. So I think that it's going to be important to be able to communicate in a <laughs> fashion. And I don't know exactly how that's going to um, come to be, but I'll have a year or two to plan and, and uh, make those adjustments in my life. All right. Well, I know we'll talk more before you actually make that exit, but um, I'm glad to have this opportunity to talk to you about all of those things on the table right now. Congressman Jackie Spear, appreciate it. And have a great holiday. Thank you, sir. Happy All right, coming up, uh, we're starting to get a clear look at the full force and the path of the string of tornadoes that devastated multiple states and where storms may be heading next. We'll bring you the latest forecast straight ahead. We loved our house, but it was time to move. So we used Rocket Mortgage to finance our next home with less cash. When you need control over your home loan, Rocket can. Fresh flavors, classic dishes, and a new seat at the table. Big news, people. Introducing Simply Safe's new wireless outdoor security camera. It works with Simply Safe's already award winning system. It's like adding an extra layer of home protection. Get it? Extra layer? All this is backed by 24 7 professional monitoring. A third layer of protection. I could go on all day. Award winning home security just got better. Simply Safe. Time to fly. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to fly me. I've had dreams that aren't just dreams. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. Yeah, when does that start, damn it? That old man is on his way out, and I am stepping into power. <laughs> I needed a Christmas miracle. I needed to get my own Nintendo. Get out of here! There's no superhero called Peacemaker! And just like that, Dick. Hey, man. Huh? <laughs> And you put some ass and it's John Cena. I brought in a two ounce protein smith with three ounce of protein. Those who tried me felt more energy in just two weeks. I remember me and you watching the freaking Suicide Squad movie together anyway. One gram of sugar and nutrients to support immunity. Yeah. That's so bad, so. And out the hats. Four cups of little flat balls. Gift the whole gang. And load up on all of the Mary you can carry. Only at Duluth Trading. We're here at the home of one of the FSB team. Was it your team that came in the bombing? You were democracy. What do you want the world to know? We had no six anymore. Scores of Taliban fighters, and just behind us, the U.S. Embassy. I'm the one who has to look them in the eye. Can I have your word? These people are depending on you. Now they're pressing in. They fought desperately to tell their stories. That hurts you. I was not. born 10 weeks early. My fucking arthritis. You can't keep that finger from moving that way either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
please call the number on your screen. If operators are busy, call again or get right away to thoseshiners.org. The 15th annual CNN Heroes All-Star Tribute, tonight at 8 Eastern. Close captioning brought to you by Mesobook.com. We offer a free book on mesothelioma. Call for the free book and receive so much more. Call 1-800-831-3700. Right, welcome back. We're beginning to get a clearer picture of the full fury from those devastating tornadoes that struck the central U.S. Officials fear more than 80 people have been killed. The National Weather Service now confirms at least four, four powerful EF3 tornadoes hit in Missouri, Illinois, and Kentucky. CNN meteorologist Tom Sater is here uh, with more. Tom, I mean, this is quite extraordinary. And I know we're still every day, every moment, so warning more about man. this track and how many Wow. Uh, in fact, Frederick, uh, just uh, I mean, the moments ago, we now have that there the are five EF3 confirmations. So that doesn't mean they say EF3, but it was made out of weeks, mat sticks, exactly right? And then we see the 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 right? the 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 northern fucking trailers that was sitting there undamaged in the middle of a fucking neighborhood that was completely gone. It's just outrageous. It's weird, man. You know, it's just, it doesn't make sense, really. So just like search and rescue teams have crews coming in from around the region and around the country, the National Weather Service is getting the best of the best from around the region to get survey crews to help them. Because it's not just the bigger ones. There are a lot of smaller tornadoes. But when you look at these white lines, they're looking at whether a supercell thunderstorm popped it. and skipped and dropped nope. tornadoes in a few nope. locations or what did they lines? actually drop Don't a tornado that stayed on the ground nope. for over 200 miles and that's what we're thinking now. Preliminary oh. sports. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the surveying information because it's critical when it comes to the bottling and giving warnings. Uh, Mayfield had a 20 minute warning. That's how many times one of those tornadoes have yeah. touched the ground, how many times well. they uh, have yeah. turned bigger, well. how many times they have to uh, uh, gotten smaller and then turned bigger Saint again. So, yeah. and again, the crews are scavenging the entire region just as we hope for some miracles to happen with the search and rescue team. A lot going on in the city. Yeah, it's still so hard to believe. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Tom Sater, appreciate that. All right, still ahead, uh, pushing President Biden's Build Back Better plan. We talked with Chuck <laughs> to help make sure that help included in that bill gets to where people need it most. my ship fizzing out. Is struggling to manage your type 2 diabetes knocking you out of your zone? Lowering your A1C with once weekly Ozempic can help you get back in it. My zone. Lowering my A1C, CB risk, and losing some weight. Now, back to the game. Ozempic is proven to lower A1C. Most people who took Ozempic reached an A1C under 7 and maintained it. And you may lose weight. Adults lost on average up to 12 pounds. In adults also with known heart disease, Ozempic lowers the risk of major cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, or death. Ozempic helped me get back in my type 2 diabetes zone. Ozempic isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. Don't share needles or pens or reuse needles. No take of If you or your family ever had medullary function, <laughs> endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or you can get medical help right away. If you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, or an allergic reaction, serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Tell your provider about vision problems or changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase low blood sugar risk. Side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea may lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. Looking to get back in your type 2 diabetes zone? Ask your healthcare provider today about once weekly Ozempic. You may pay as little as $25 for a three month prescription. This is a respiratory virus. Just one droplet can result in days of nagging cold like symptoms. 
Endless remedies either contain chemicals that do more harm than good, or have herbal ingredients that hardly do anything. Meet BioVanta, a scientifically proven innovative drug made from 100% natural ingredients. Unlike most leading cold products, it works at the source of the symptoms. BioVanta, a smarter yeah. natural solution for cold, cough, and sore throat. You're in your the ship bad. Your left to find you come from you lost. You organic, need to hire. I need indeed. organic ingredients. Indeed you do. Indeed Most of them start with petroleum. Your job description. Visit indeed.com slash So, you know, the oil shortage, the oil prices, that means drug prices will go up and shit. You know, we're going to want it. Not me. By hitting eczema where it counts, Dupixin helps heal your skin from within, keeping you one step ahead of eczema. Damn. I, That's I funny. Hit, huh? There's three constitution plan shifts in a row. Skin, and well, those are from the Discovery era, and mine is just from the original series, but I, beat, I still mine out. Not me. Don't use if you're allergic it's like to it's the the years of like it's between the uh, original series and the movie. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, or a parasitic infection. If you take yeah, asthma medicines, like don't change and I wanted or stop to do that. without talking to your doctor. I think it's kind of cool. Will you help heal your skin from within? It's like the missing link. Uh-huh. And that's the kind of change you notice. Talk to your eczema specialist about to fix it. A breakthrough eczema treatment. You pour your heart into everything you do, which is a lot. So take care of that heart with Lipton. Because sipping on unsweetened Lipton can help support a healthy heart. Lipton. Stop chugging. Start sipping. To run a growing business is to be on a journey. And along the ride, you'll have many questions. Challenges. Oh. And a few surprises. Wherever you are on your journey, your Dell Technologies advisor is here for you with the right tech solutions. So you can stop at nothing for your customers. All right, welcome back. Senate Democrats are scrambling to get President Biden's Build Back Better agenda passed before Christmas. Joining me right now is Bishop William Barber, co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, president of Repairers of the Breach, and author of We Are Called to Be a Movement. Welcome. And Jeffrey Sachs is an economist and professor at Columbia University and the director of the Center for Sustainable Development. He's also president of the UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network and author of Build Building the new American economy. Welcome to you as well. Phew, credentials you both have. <laughs> All right. Additionally, uh, you are both supporters of the Poor People's Rally, which is set to take place in Washington uh, tomorrow. Uh, Bishop Barber, you first. You know, as you prepare for uh, tomorrow's rally, uh, what is the biggest need that you're seeing on the ground, and how do you see this Build Back Better plan helping? You know, people are just sick and tired, really, of this foolishness and the way in which we are just going after people. So we were called, the Poor People's Campaign all over the country, said so we got to do a mass movement. So we have 33 states, I mean, 39 organizations, which we're saying, get it done in 21. It's time to pass the deal about that plan and voting rights. We should have never separated the two. We should have always said the deal about that, the voting rights, the infrastructure, is ending the um, filibuster as one because it's what's going to take to really save our democracy. But more importantly, people are hurting. This is what I don't think people understand. When you don't pass to build a black better plan, and it's not even everything we, we need, people are hurting. Children, families, I think uh, 39 million families, 61 million children will be hurt if we don't continue this child tax credit. And that's why in West Virginia, they're actually starting from Manson's office in Martinburg and the over 140 cars in a caravan led by poor and low-wealth people to say, it's time to write out the people who give so much in this country, poor and low-wealth people, everyday people, and get it done in 21. And Professor Sachs, while it seems like there is large agreement that yes, people are hurting, we also know that this Build Back Better bill is likely to get edited quite a bit before there even is a vote. But then what's your concern about you know, among the most important safety net provisions that need to stay in the plan. This is so basic. Uh, you know, what's talked about in this plan, uh, for instance, uh, pre-K child care, 
basic uh, health for hearing and so on is so basic every other pure country of ours whether it's canada or britain or france or germany they all have this this is nothing special this is the most basic uh, needs but what's happening in the senate is that rich people are protecting rich people it's called plutocracy and so you have rich people like senator manchin he represents an impoverished state, but he himself is personally rich. He's an owner of two big companies. Uh, he's got millions of dollars of uh, personal wealth. But even more than that, he's got his campaign funders saying to him, we don't want to pay any more tax, the richest people in this country. And so that's what this battle is about. Do rich people in America pay a little bit of their unbelievable wealth so that poor people can have their kids uh, in pre-K uh, so that they can raise their children, so that people can get hearing aids. It's it's just so basic as this. So, so Professor Sachs, you're accusing Manchin and others who were not proponents of the Build Back Better plan intact as having a real willingness or eagerness to ignore or overlook those who are in great need. Well, this is the game of America. I'm sorry to say it, but Congress is filled with wealthy people, and behind them are even wealthier people who are putting in billions of dollars of campaign contributions so that the Congress votes against taxes on corporations and rich people. It's as simple as that. And what has held back this bill is that not only Manchin, but also uh, uh, Senator Sinema uh, said, oh, we don't want to raise corporate taxes. Oh, my God. The richest people in this country, they're protecting. And then they go and turn back. Oh, sorry, we can't afford pre-K in this country. We can't afford uh, uh, to help you with the hearing aid. Oh, dental, that's completely out. Uh, paid leave? No. How could we afford it? Every other rich country affords this easily because they actually tax rich people. But in this country, the whole game is don't tax the richest people. There was a, a proposal for a billionaire's tax. Where did that go? Well, some billionaires said, we don't like that tax. Elon Musk, uh, who has uh, almost $300 billion of personal wealth, tweeted, mm, I don't like that very much. Come on. What, what is it? And then, and then and, and Manchin turns around and says to the poorest people of the poorest state in the United States that he is supposed to represent but does not. He says, oh, I'm so sorry, we can't afford uh, child care. This is not affordable in America after he is the one that stopped the taxes on the rich. So, so I wonder, It's a game. It's a game. Mm. So, so Bishop Barber, um, you issued similar complaints but took it on a different level in a different way uh, i mean your group the poor people's campaign protested outside the offices of senator manchin and senator christian uh uh cinema uh, over the opposition to uh this plan um have you received any reaction from them uh and if you feel like they didn't hear your message while protesting outside what is your message to them well, we're not going to quit. You know, the first time we put almost a thousand people on that doorstep over the voting rights thing, the next two days he came out with a compromise. What we know from history, you don't win these battles without agitation, mobilization, litigation, legislation, being in the suites and the streets and in the courts. But, but we also are trying to reshift this small narrative. We're talking about these, these leaders like Manchin and Cinema who are hurting 140 million people in this country are poor and no wealth. The people who gave them have given the most during COVID. We're talking about nearly over 50% of our children, over 43% of adults in this country. We're talking about the people who got 8 million more got poor during COVID while billionaires made an extra $2 trillion. And we have to say that we've got to call it, well, this is a lie, a lie of scarcity. The, this is what's happening with we, Manchin and others. This week he said, we've done enough. Who is he to say we've done enough for the people? That's what poor and wealth people are saying. In his own state, 750,000 poor and wealth people, 350,000 that make less than $15 an hour, who, who, who have been pushing him, and he blocked $15 an hour 
lied to them and said uh, when we met with him that he had a plan to do living wages, but he never comes up with any plan but the plan to help more billionaires. And one more thing, Frederica, for the American people. The Institute for Policy Studies is something. They work with us. They're one of our advisors, like my brother Jeffrey Sachs the Poor People's Campaign, because we try not to be loud and wrong. They looked at this and said one contract for one year to one, pen one Pentagon contract to Lockheed Martin is $75 billion for 2021. That is the total cost of child care and preschool in the Peel Back Better Plan. Now, think about that. We're putting, we will spend, take one contract to one military country and spend more on that than we will for child care and preschool over 10 years. A budget is a moral document, and we have a moral crisis, a crisis of possibility, a crisis of democracy. We're seeing it in the blocking of this Build Back Better Plan, which is actually less than what really we need to do. And it's, it's a response, it is not really the most transformative thing. And this attack on democracy like voting. So poor and low people are saying, we're 30% of the electorate. In some places, 40% in battleground state. We're not going to be solid anymore. We're going to engage in direct action. We're going to mobilize and build out people going to the polls. We're already planning a mass for people to send the ball march on Washington, June 18, 2022 to reshape the moral narrative and to mobilize people for the poll because poor low wealth people can reset our entire electoral system in this country. But what we're not going to do is allow these lines of scarcity and allow rich people who, who refuse not to give people something, but just to invest every dollar in the bill that you made, if you invest it into poor low wealth community, it comes back. It comes back. It's an investment, not an entitlement. I think people will hear your messages out loud and clear. Uh, it is about prioritizing. Hear that from both of you. Uh, Bishop William Barber, Professor Jeffrey Sachs, thanks to both of you gentlemen. I uh, appreciate your time. And we'll be right back. The gift of ancestry is a walk through your history, where the more you discover, the more you come together. This holiday, give the gift of family, give the gift of ancestry. Okay, everyone, our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Insure, with 27 vitamins and minerals, now introducing Insure Complete with 30 grams of protein. Yeah, we will share our home address for french fries. Did you know you can get five more matches if you give your social security number? No one really tries to be unsafe. The Wi-Fi's down. I'll try the neighbors. But every time you give up info and privacy, you give up a little safety, too. I'm sure the site's fine, Mom. They just need a picture of my driver's license. Norton 360 with LifeLock helps protect your devices, online privacy, and identity all in one. Opt into cyber safety at Norton.com. Motrin works fast to stop pain where it starts, like those nagging headaches, uncomfortable period pains, and disruptive muscle aches. You can count on fast, effective relief with Motrin. There's a different way to treat HIV. It's once-monthly injectable Cabanuva. Cabanuva is the only once-a-month complete HIV treatment for adults who are undetectable. Cabanuva helps keep me undetectable. It's two injections given by my health care provider once a month. HIV pills aren't on my mind. I love being able to pick up and go. Don't receive Cabinuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabinuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabinuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabinuva, attend all treatment appointments. With once a month Cabinuva, I'm good to go. Ask your doctor about once monthly Cabinuva. Hey, Gary. Hey, Robert. You been up there all night? Yeah, just keep me watch. You need Simply Safe's new wireless outdoor security camera. It works with Simply Safe's already award-winning home security for even more comprehensive protection. What? Hey, Charlie! What? You're not gonna believe this. 
The new wireless outdoor security camera is here, only from Simply Safe. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you Stop waiting. Start investing. Be trained. Was it a freak accident? You're killing me, too. Was it? It's the year end sale only at Gardner White. Save an extra 25% off plus 0% for 60 months. That store wide savings up to 75% with our lowest price guarantee. Delivery by Christmas guaranteed. The Gardner White year end sale. We wake up every day with a choice. Keep going down the same unfulfilling path or start chasing the life we dream about. In Northwestern Tech, we want to make that choice easier by allowing you to keep working your job while training for a real career and keeping it cool. And our hands-on program is only 10 and a half months. So getting in the field and building a career and actually waking up with a purpose could be a lot easier than you think. Northwestern Tech, the HVAC school that works. It's the year-end sale only at Gardner White. Zero percent financing for 60 months. Living rooms, $12 a month. Queen beds, $13 a month. Reclining sofas, $15 a month. Delivery by Christmas, guaranteed. The year-end sale at Gardner White. I'm Ryan Nobles on Capitol Hill, and this is CNN. Closed captioning brought to you by Mesobook.com. We proudly help veterans with mesothelioma. Call for a free book, 1-800-822-0400, or go to mizzobook.com. Well, welcome back. Uh, before and after images reveal the true scale of destruction from Friday night's deadly tornadoes. Take a look. On the left, you're about to see drone footage of the county courthouse in Mayfield, Kentucky, before the storm. And then on the right, you can see the same area just flattened, destroyed. In Manette, Arkansas, you can see what used to be a nursing home is no longer recognizable. That whole area wiped out. Further north in Edwardsville, Illinois, an Amazon warehouse was partially hit by a tornado. At least six people were killed when the building collapsed. And you can see the remnants of it on the right. And then the candle factory in Mayfield, Kentucky, simply in ruins. Emergency crews rescued a number of employees trapped under debris. Uh, but we're told dozens were killed when that building came down. Those recovery efforts are ongoing. We'll continue to cover the aftermath of those deadly tornadoes and the search for survivors ahead in the next hour. But first, here's this week's The Human Factor. Blue Cross, it was just something that just spoke to me that came really natural to be able to play a collegiate sport. That was always my biggest dream growing up. The summer following my freshman year, I was involved in a moped accident that caused me to lose my left leg above the knee. I absolutely thought that my sports career was over. I mean, I thought that I was never gonna be able to walk again, let alone run. I had to learn how to basically do everything over again. I probably fell about 50 times in that first practice. My first game back playing, and I actually scored a goal. And make it 11, it's Lambert. Someone from the U.S. Paralympic track and field world reached out to me, asking if I've ever thought about pursuing the sport track and field. In my first track meet, I hit the qualified times to be on the national team, but I also beat the reigning national champion. I was like, I'm gonna compete in Tokyo. I had been running the 100 meter for about two years. I actually made the Paralympic Games for Team USA. I started the Born to Run Foundation in 2018. Insurance will only cover your everyday walking prosthetic. They will not cover a running blade. We actually made our first donation to a little three-year-old boy. The biggest thing that I want to portray to others is I want you to live the life that you want to live. If you have people believing in you and love you so much where they want to see your dreams come true, 100% I promise you, it will. The Human Factor, brought to you by Pfizer. Breakthroughs that change patients' lives. Visit findyournbcvoice.com to hear more from Meredith Vieira and the inspiring men and women living with MBC. Why is it so important for people with metastatic breast cancer to share their stories? We have to share what we're going through, what our experiences are, so that the resources, the landscape can actually meet our needs. 
people who may not have access to support groups or a community, they can log on to the computer and see a face that looks like them and someone telling a story that's similar to theirs and makes them feel less isolated. With Musinex All-in-One, you've got powerful relief from your worst cold and flu symptoms. So when you need to show your cold who's boss, grab Musinex All-in-One and get back to your rhythm. The relief you need, the cash you want. The holidays just got easier. Send wine, sweets, gifts, and more now on DoorDash. Mysteries of the universe. Is he man or beast? You're in luck. Because tonight, you will see him feed. Come on in. Let's find out. Is he man or beast? Radar. English Friday tickets on sale now. Hi, so you're the scientist here. Does my Aveeno Daily Moisturizer really make my dry skin healthier in one day? It's true, Jen. This prebiotic old formula moisturizes to help prevent dry skin. Impressive. Aveeno. Healthy. It's our nature. New Daily Moisture. For face. I'll buy it. Great. 11,000 with me agreed. 11 grand is a little steep, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I got $400 here in cold cash, and I got my Nana's wedding ring. What? You like ocean stuff? Fresh frozen lobsters. You add all this up. Basically, it's 11 grand. Never negotiate with strangers again. Room offered 12,000? Yeah, and I didn't have to haggle. Sell your car entirely online on broom.com. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you want. Really want. You can get it if you want. Stop waiting. Start investing. E-Trade. Join Anderson Cooper and Kelly Ripa live as they name the 2021 Hero of the Year, the 15th annual CNN Heroes All-Star Tribute, tonight at 8 Eastern. Sponsored by Subaru. Well, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Hey, Angie, you forgot your phone. Hey, Lou, Angie, you forget her phone again? Yeah. Lou, Mom said she could save up to $400 on her wireless bill by switching to Xfinity Internet and Mobile. But Nation Wi-Fi G had no extra cost. And Lou, all the most reliable network, Lou. Smart kid, Bill. <laughs> so true. And now, the Christmas special. <laughs> Gotta go. Take the savings challenge at XfinityMobile.com slash MySavings or visit an Xfinity store to learn how our Switch Squad makes switching fast and easy this holiday season. Fact. Emily hasn't bought furnishings in weeks. So, how is she creating this masterpiece? Her free time is stocked with daily harvest. That's how. Chef crafted food, organic ingredients, delivered to your door, ready in minutes. See for yourself at dailyharvest.com. Go to dailyharvest.com and get started today. Dr. Sergeant Gupta reports, week six, marijuana and autism, next Sunday at 8. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me at Frederick Whitfield. All right, we start with the frantic efforts to find survivors after a swarm of powerful tornadoes ripped through eight states. Entire towns leveled in the blink of an eye as the storm swept through Friday night. Officials say one single tornado actually carved a path of destruction more than 200 miles long, and they fear more than 80 people may have been killed. Search and rescue teams are working around the clock for survivors who may be trapped under mountains of debris. The heads of Homeland Security and FEMA are in the region today, bringing with them much-needed federal resources. Mayfield, Kentucky is seeing some of the worst of the damage. A few buildings left standing in the town of roughly 10,000. Rescuers sifting through a collapsed candle factory there where more than 100 people were working. And so far, only about 40 people have been rescued from the wreckage. And new video shows what's left of an Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville, Illinois. At least six people died when the building collapsed during a violent tornado there. 
Many more are feared dead in Dawson Springs, Kentucky, a town of just 2,700 people. FEMA's administrator calling the scale of destruction unprecedented. You know, I think it's incredibly unusual. We do see uh, tornadoes in December. That part is not unusual. Um, but at this magnitude, I don't think we've ever seen one this late in the year, but it's also historic. Um, even this, the severity and the amount of time this tornado or these tornadoes spent on the ground is unprecedented. CNN's Pamela Brown anchoring our coverage on the ground there in Mayfield, Kentucky. And I mean, Pamela, the pictures are extraordinary. And you are from Kentucky. And I'm wondering, you know, people that you know, were they impacted by this storm? No one that I know personally. I grew up a few hours away from here in Lexington. But of course, um, if you're a Kentuckian, you know, you feel this sort of kinship with others. And I have been going around and, and talking with folks here. And it's been really incredible to see the way that uh, Kentuckians have come from all over the state to help out. I was just at that courthouse. We've seen so many images of the courthouse here in the town uh, square that was so severely damaged. And clerks from across Kentucky have come here to help salvage some of those um, historic documents that are hundreds of years old and, and important documents, voter registration, um, wedding certificates, that kind of thing. And so you're really seeing people come together as they also try to process the devastation here. As one man said, I spoke to him, he said, look, you just have to take it a day at a time as he was shaking his head, looking and surveying the damage in his town that has been decimated. We do have a team of reporters covering the devastation across this region. I want to go first to CNN's Bryn Gingras. She's also here in Mayfield. So Bryn, I know you've also been talking to people. What are you hearing? I've already got the door shut. Yeah, there, like you said, there's a lot buddy. of people coming out, helping the each other. There's a big community here, but so many of them are, as you said, <laughs> in disbelief. Their lands and their neighborhoods are completely different than they were just a few days ago. You can see this group of uh, family here behind me. They're surveying their home, taking out some of their uh, possessions that are important to them, whatever they have left. And this is what we are seeing repeated all across Mayfield. I do want to tell you, while there is so much loss in Mayfield, there are so many people that are just so happy to be alive. One story I have to tell you about. This is a piece of plywood that one man held, he said, until his fingers were numb. He held it shut in the back of his house while his six-year-old daughter and his girlfriend were inside a crawl space. And he said he felt the strength of 10 men pulling from the opposite side as that tornado ripped through past their house. I want you to hear how they kept their six-year-old daughter calm through that storm. I just told her to close your eyes. Children's Tylenol. Yeah. Just give a good dose of that shit. And so she's like, don't take like, a bath real fucking quick. So we just counted until everyone was gone. Yeah.
A news story has to earn its way into our newscast. If something breaks anywhere, we'll have it. Extreme weather, no longer a question of when, but where. The context you need. What will people in cities and towns across the country see? The information you have to have for tomorrow. Are masks with us forever so you can make individual decisions for you and your family? Just the news. We got that. The facts, the truth, the news with Shepard Smith. Weekly, 7 Eastern, CNBC.